International opposes the death penalty in all cases, regardless of the crime, regardless of the offender, and regardless of the method of execution. The death penalty is the ultimate denial of human rights. It is a denial even of the right to exist. We deplore the recommended death sentences against President Morsi and so many others, and the confirmed death sentences of hundreds of people in the last two years. We are particularly concerned that the Egyptian authorities have been using death sentences and executions following grossly unfair trials and in violation of international law to silence political dissent. Egypt has been in continued dramatic deterioration of human rights following the ousting of President Morsi in July 2013, especially in restricting the freedom of association, expression and assembly. Last year, Egypt carried out at least 15 executions, the first official executions carried out in Egypt since 2011. Over 500 death sentences were passed last year, mostly after unfair trials, enforced disappearances, and routine torture and ill-treatment in custody. Military courts that do not respect the Convention Against Torture have been trying civilians, sometimes in mass trials where the death penalty has been issued en masse. The use of the death penalty in Egypt since last year is unprecedented. Many death sentences have been imposed in absentia. Most death sentences have been targeting members of the Muslim Brotherhood and supporters of Mohammed Morsi. 183 death sentences were issued in a single trial last June. Courts even recommended death for 1,200 other people, only reversing that after consulting with the Grand Mufti. In April last year, two juveniles were among 37 people sentenced to death en masse. An absolute prohibition on death sentences against juvenile offenders, no matter the crime, is in the Convention on the Rights of the Child, which Egypt ratified a quarter century ago. Mohamed Morsi is not alone in being unfairly tried and sentenced to death, but his case is illustrative of the ill-treatment, illegal detention, illegal evidence, and biased courts. Mohamed Morsi was held incommunicado for months without access to a lawyer and with no judicial oversight. None of the evidence gathered during this time would meet the threshold of evidence for international fair trial standards. Amnesty International has called on the Egyptian authorities to release Mohamed Morsi immediately or try him in a civilian court with full fair trial guarantees and without recourse to the death penalty. Amnesty International also calls on Egyptian authorities to drop charges of escaping from prison in January 2011, as at the time he was held in administrative detention under emergency powers and without a judicial detention order. We further call on Egypt, as we do in all countries that use the death penalty, to immediately impose a moratorium on executions with a view to abolition of the death penalty. This is in line with calls made by the United Nations General Assembly. We also call on Egypt to respect freedom of expression, freedom of association, and freedom of assembly as required by international human rights law. Thank you very much. <laughs> 